Hey everyone, Itaroda here, bringing you my next part in Legend of Lagaya. When we last left off, we just defeated Songi in, I believe it's called the East Vaz Forest. Yeah, there you go. And we have returned back to Byron Monastery. We now have Gala with his Ozma, or Raiden, and we can also learn Master Arts. Which means that we now have a new move. So if you don't have that move, that's where you get it. And I already did this in the previous part. But here's the interesting thing. When you get done and you rescue everybody and everything else, you can actually come and buy more items, weapons, and so on and so forth. But as you can see, I'm deathly poor. Because usually I kind of grind a little bit and, you know, get more and more gold and so on and so forth. But because this is a Let's Play, I do all that off-screen, and I will do that all off-screen coming up pretty soon. Uh, what's going to end up happening here is we're going to be heading to the Mist Generator that is up north and, you know, somewhere around there. And there are brand new spells, and there will be new uh, two boss battles back to back. We already have the recommend level for one of them. And what's going to end up happening here, though, is we are going to actually play a little bit. Oh, and here's another thing. You see how it says best for me or all? If you say all, or if you equip it to somebody that's an all, their left, their arm their weapon will actually grow to two blocks, meaning that you can't actually do as much damage as you would, even though you have a massive, even though you have a massive attack boost. Uh, let's see here, what else do I want to buy? I want to buy this for armor, and let's get, where's the, oh, I already have the survival club. Uh, also, the reason why the shoes and legs and stuff like that increase damage is because, well, this is martial arts, you know, you're gonna punch and kick people right in the face. Uh, Hunter Clothes, Life Water, Healing Leaf, Phoenix. Oh, right, you didn't have anything. But I'm going to sell this Cure Amulet because we don't need that anymore. Now, when you're going to the Mist Generator, the thing that you have to do, or the thing that you should do, is you should come over here and buy Deep Sea Jewels. Because the bot, the main boss, I should say, has a move that attacks everyone. And it's water-based. So that will actually deplete all of the... Uh, what is it? It'll, uh, it'll have the damage. That's what that does. It has elemental damage of that particular element. And when when you go to the mist generator, or when you complete it and save Byron, if you talk to Maya inside of the uh, inside the kitchen, you get ten healing leaves. So you know it's not too shabby. I wouldn't imagine anyway. But before we do anything, we're going to save here, and then we're going to head off to it because there's new spells and also. Uh, what is it? Um, two boss battles back to back. Yeah, this game does that, and it's very, very annoying. All right, let's get out of here and let's head on, head our happy asses all the way to the mist generator. Let's go. Oh, I love the soundtrack of this game so much. I think I said tracked, and I apologize if I did. Uh, also, if you hear squeaking, that's just my chair because. Last time I do these let when I do these let's plays I kind of sit down a little bit which is rare for me because anytime I'm doing Soul Calibur or something of that nature I'm standing up real real true story All right we're heading over to the left here because we now have more than enough power to have it depleted and we can walk in here this is where all the mist came from Oh we got a battle what do we got do we have anything in intriguing or is it just going to be kind of meh Okay, so we got the surprise. We might as well take advantage of this. Oh, you still have the fist. Shit. Alright. I am way behind on this game. Wow. Alright, let's see here. You know what? I plan on I plan on actually coming back later because, uh, what is it? I do not like going forward without having the proper amount of equipment and stuff like that because that's a death sentence pretty much. So I'm just gonna kinda... Use my magic to speed through everything and just get to the next area. So, here you go. We're starting off with magic. I think it'll kill everything, too, because it's like 320-something, yeah? Bingo. All done. Wave clear! And also, because we now have Raiden in our party, the experience gets cut even further because it's divided amongst three characters now. So, if you, if this was actually a 
like if Raiden was the only one that was actually, uh, you know, up and about, he would have gotten upwards of, I believe, 900 XP just right then, just based on that. And here is one of the best themes in the entire game. Guitar, read it. Look at all the mist. It's coming from over there. It's a smokestack. Thick mist is pouring out from that smokestack. That is where the mist that engulfed Drake Kingdom comes from. Now listen, Hilda. This castle has caverns deep underground. Deep inside them is a mist generator. That's where the mist is coming from. I'll destroy the mist generator. I want to get rid of all the mist. You're a good girl. That's right, Hilda. We have to destroy the mist generator. Keep in mind, Hilda's only freaking either 11 or 12. The oldest one here is Raiden, and he's 16. What did you do when you were 16? You were probably just in middle school. With our Rosaru powers. But this is a vital castle to the enemy. It will be heavily defended. Proceed with caution. And it is very, very heavily defended. Now you're going to start getting into the midst of where these enemies start becoming mini-bosses. And by that mean, oh, please let it be the new spell. I want it to be the new spell. Let it be the new spell. It is the new spell. Sweet. Xenowar. That is the next fire fire spell. There's only one other fire spell in this entire game. Yeah, they do not like fire spells. Uh, we are going to do... We're going to do Dolphin Attack. And then on you, what are we going to do with you? Ah, we'll just do Iron Head. Basically what ends up happening is Xenowar is one of... Imagine Theater. If you remember from a previous part, theater with its turning laser. Xenor is the exact same way, except it's just fire-based. And it actually looks pretty cool, too. Alright, so we got Gimbar for Gala right out the gate. Sweet. And uh, the interesting thing is, is because this is a mist generator, you're always going to find new enemies, and you're always going to find new opponents as well. So, plus, uh, plus, two, plus two for ingenuity on that one. Sorry, I kind of stumbled there. I was looking at what I wanted to do, and I have enough for a Pyro Pommel. All right, you are going uh, to weaken that Xenor because you're going to go first, and then I'm just going to spare with you. Freaking damn it. All right. Now, this is probably not true, but judging the base, uh, oh, oh, wow. I thought I was going to kill it there. I was wrong. Yeesh. But what I was going to say was, I was thinking that, you know, I think Xenor actually has a freaking, um, have to fire or something like that, because that's ridiculous that I only did about 100 damage with Tornado Flame. Wow, you are quick. That wasn't... You're a monk. You're supposed to be able to block and defend yourself. What is this? Oh, I didn't capture it. Xenor has a specific animation that it goes into when it dies, and you just saw it there. When you actually capture it, it just kind of, like, flops down, and it's like, Ugh, and then you immediately absorb it. There's no it getting back up or anything like that. It's actually one of the few that do that. Kind of like uh, Vera. Vera doesn't fall down when you absorb it. All right. You head over to the right over here, and we have Thunderbook 1. Now, what this is, is this is Raiden's Hyper Art, Thunder Punch. And the funniest thing is, is this is my my brother's favorite Hyper Art in the entire game. Uh, and you'll see why in just a second. I'll showcase it for you. What do we got? What are we facing here? Xenomar? Nope, theater. Oh, it's a theater. Sweet. Okay. Uh, you are going to Spirit, you are going to Dolph, you're going to Frostbite, no, not Auto, nope, too much, there you go, Frostbite that theater, and Thunder Punch is only three moves, which is, thank God, because of how, you know, low his art blocks are, but you're going to see why it's amazing. I love Frostbreath too, that's one of my personal favorites. Alright. Oh, Gimmar attacked first? Before- damn. Okay. Oh, and he caught Theater too! Awesome. 
Basically, what Thunder Punch is, it, you can't see what exactly it is, but it's a one-inch punch with electricity. That's exactly what it is. So it's pretty freaking cool. I will not lie. You know, if you want, like, a, if you're looking for, you know, a subtle, you know, a subtle move or a subtle art and stuff like that, that's pretty much it right there. All right, so we're going to end this battle here, and we are going to continue on. Uh, the worst part is, like, one of the downfalls in this game for when it comes to Let's Playing and stuff like that is you don't get very many encounter downs. It's kind of like, you know, <laughs> being in a Pokemon game and you have no repels. The only difference is you can't hit the space bar right, the space bar on your laptop to speed it up. Alright, so from here on in, uh, from here on in, I'm going to run from every battle, and I'm going to show you every chest, and then get up to a checkpoint, and then I'm going to cut it off right there, but of course you're not going to see anything, you're just going to see me edit back in, because editing is amazing. And we're just going to end up cutting this up and cutting everything in, cutting everything else. And as you can see, we got a healing leaf and a healing flower. And another battle. Please don't be Xenor. I don't want to fight. Of course it is. A freaking course it is. Uh, hmm. Well, you know what? This isn't going to kill it, so might as well. Spirit. Actually, you know what? Let's show off theater. Uh, let's show off the theater damage. Now, it might not seem like it's going to be a lot. Because you've seen what it did with uh, Hilda here. Which was around maybe an uh, ocean. Yeah! That's the damage right there! 269 if you don't spear it and they use a special move. Oi! So, what it comes right down to it is this is the difference between having the element of choice and experimenting. This is the diff damage difference. Eight hundred and two damage, as opposed to maybe the three hundred that Hilda did, and she is the second most proficient. If it hits twice, you're guaranteed almost a thousand damage. So that just gives you an idea of what kind of spells and everything else has actually gone into this game. To think about, it. Uh, I need to heal you. Oh, god damn it, Vera! Eh, there you go. Eh, eh. And then we're just gonna do that. But, you know, it's astounding to think that that much detail actually went into this game in the sense that, hey, you know what? We're gonna have it just like this because this is awesome. Oh, and sweet. <laughs> Brain's level increased. Alright, so we don't have to necessarily grind as hard. Um, basically, at this point, Raiden's just playing catch up at this point. You know, you want him to actually have the same levels as your characters do. And also, the cool thing is, is because you have Vera, even if you use it outside of battle, it still can increase its magic level. And, uh, your main character is proficient with fire, earth, and light. Oh, there's no chest here. I thought that was a chest here. I was... Oh, excuse me, I was wrong. Alright, another battle. Let's see if we're running. Damn it, we're not running. Actually, you know what? I'll catch Zeno off screen. I'll catch him off screen. So that way, you guys, we can just run through. I can show you all the chests, and then I'll show you Zeno in a uh, different uh, in a different fight. And then, uh, like I said, at the end of the series, there's going to be ah, oh, sweet a fury boost. What a fury boost does is it uh, puts you in permanent spirit. So you're as large as your block is. That's where it stays until you die. When you die, you know, it's just like in traditional RPGs, all buffs go away. You are taunting me! Stop it! And I'm glad we could escape. I didn't like that little lag there. I thought we couldn't escape there. Alright, there should be an elevator coming up here pretty soon. Alright, here we go. Uh, ah, oh Christ. Uh, let's have her this way. Oh, no, chest on the left. Healing Blue. Uh, you guys already know what that does, so that's pretty good. It's 200 to the entire party. Xenomar, right? Yeah, 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 you fucker. Oh! Okay, there we go. Yeah, see... 
Oh, good lord, I hate that. Also, I am standing up again. I don't know why. I, I, I couldn't help it, I guess. I don't freaking know. Alright. Off to the right side. Where's this elevator? Alright, hang on, I'm gonna walk here. Okay, you know what? I probably, if I didn't walk, I would have gotten through. You are not worth the time. Oh, I can... <laughs> So, what this game is saying is... Uh-oh. Ow! So basically what this game is exactly... Okay, so I really can't escape. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Alright, so I'm just gonna kill these guys real quick. I'm just gonna use Gazam and get out of here. Spirit. Gazam. Spirit. Uh, what ends up happening is... This game is weird in the sense that even if you get attacked, you can still make it out. But I don't like the fact that the new car the new enemy that's faster than a Gimard can uh, I can escape from with the theater, which is faster than a Gimard as well. But you give these two, and I can't get right I can't get out. Oh sweet, Gazam's magic level increased. Sweet. Now it's not a massive damage increase. But the thing is, is when you level up magic, status effects start happening. And not just like poison or anything else. Like, it actually lowers stats. Uh, when you get a water spell uh, high, up high enough, like level 3 and then higher, it'll start decreasing agility. Fire is attack, as you've probably seen with the Gimmar at level 6. Hey, we got a safe point down here. Oh, short sword. More damage. Gimme. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so don't buy the knife. <laughs> don't buy the knife in the shop. <laughs> it's not worth it, apparently, because I just found a short sword. I'm going to save here because Spastic Saver, and you don't know what this game's going to do to you. You don't know what this game's going to do to you or your HP. Alright. And there are certain dungeons in this game that are just large as all hell. I mean, damn. Alright, let's see here. Where we got? Okay, we're going to make it right here. There's a room here, and we got a chest. Shield elixir, that's just money. Uh, also, whenever you're in a mist generator or a dungeon of this sort, you want to explore everywhere. Alright, we got a Vera and a Naito. As you can see, the higher levels had, you know, just like the defense, and then the lower levels had the more bulky and stuff like that. Can we please leave? No, we cannot because Vera. Probably, right? Yep. Bloodsucker? Nope. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attack... No, you know what? I'm going to use magic. I want to speed this up. Magic on you. Uh, let's see here. Might as well hyper art on the Nido. And then I'm going to use... I'm going to try and get this Vera spell for Raiden because you want to make sure that everybody has a heal spell because you don't know how your MP is going to try to be tied up in, in the end. I also, I like to point out that the Nido in this area is stronger than the one in the forest. But here's a good... I'm not sure if I showed this or not, because I can't remember how long ago it was. Target's attack per, down 10%. This goes from... It goes 5, 10, uh, 20, and then 30 at max level. And because it's a percentage, it's always going to be a bigger chunk than if it was just down 30 points and so on and so forth. So, and when I was younger, I didn't understand that percentage meant bigger than the actual number. Because, you know, you're a kid, what do you know about percentages? The percentage of me having fun is 100! That's what you pretty much know. Got it. Sweet. You know what? <laughs> Not bad, right? You're three for three on target spells. I'll take that. And also, I like to point out that his roster is just like a little freaking gauntlet. That, that to me is kind of funny. I'm not sure why, but... Probably because I know what its end form looks like, and it's like... You start off so small, and then it's like... Damn. God, I'm right in front of that chest! Give me the chest! I don't care about this! Oh dear. Hmm. Should I try to run? 
Uh, I, I can't run from this. Uh, you know, I, I'll try and then I'll fail and then it just takes more time. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to work out on the Vera here. Oh, by the way, did anybody catch that damage on that Gimbal? It was like 285 or something, yeah? Something like that, give or take? So let's see how much it does to a Xanor. Watch, it'll do like 160 something. Oh, and also, when it says attack and stuff like that, that means, uh, just base... Oh, not bad, okay. That means base physical attack. That doesn't actually mean that... Really? Oh, you healed yourself, okay. Um... Uh-oh. Eh. That's it. Ugh. Fire claws. They are atrociously strong. But the thing is that makes me a little bit upset, I guess you could say, is the fact that, um... <laughs> they aim right at rate. Wow, you heal that much? Oh, dear God. Oh, no. Good God. And this is what I mean by special spamming. You know, you don't realize how much damage you're gonna take right away. And then, you know, you got this. Really? Good lord. Alright. I'm going to heal you. I can't. Shit. Um, wait, how many healing flowers do I have? Oh, not enough. Mmm. Mmm. I'm playing it risky. Playing it risky. Alright, there is now. Uh, I did get an item in the last part called a Phoenix, and that is essentially Phoenix Down. It res resuscitates fate. Damn it, I couldn't capture it. And also, when you get out of battle, they come back with 1 HP. So, you're not going. So, it's not like you gotta waste items to res people. Alright, what do we got in this chest? It better be worth it. Raiden died for this. I'm so happy I'm not playing a hardcore run. Another Phoenix! There you go! Alright. So... Ugh, everybody's all fucked up. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's see here. What time am I at? 22 minutes? Mm. Yeah, let's just keep going. I'm gonna get to the next part. Or next... That's not the area I need to go in. Damn it. Damn it. I got lost. I'm always expecting that that way is the right way. Oh, get the hell out of here. Please let me run. Thank you. Uh, that could have been exponentially bad. I probably would just use theater, though, on the Nido and just, they kind of clip the Xenor. Alright, there we go. Yeah, here we go. Another room. Another room. Another item. Medicine. Okay. Medicine is actually important because it automatically heals every status that there is. Your, um... What is it? Your light spells only get that at level 7. My bear is only level 2, so that gives you an idea. And we haven't leveled up. Okay, we can't escape. Okay, good. Alright, guys. Well, I'm gonna stop it right here because, you know, 24 minutes in... But I'm going to immediately start it up, and, uh, what is it? By the time you guys actually get back to the next part, I'm going to have, uh, the spells and everything else, and I'll be right here. So I'm just gonna end the episode here, grind up a little bit, but I will not advance past this. I just want to get everything done and over with, and I'll see you in the next part, okay? I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope you'll stick around for the next part when we conquer this dungeon. Also, when the boss battles come up, I'm going to imply a new editing technique or a new editing uh, thing that I was trying out. And I want your all, I want your opinion when it comes up. Don't worry, I'll actually be able to remind you right when it happens. Take care, everyone, and be safe. Again, I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next part. Later!